In today's video, we will be covering the tiny but mighty tale of the artery-eating Avenger himself, Zombie Ant-Man. No, not even our boy Scott Lang was safe from the deadly alien virus that turned him and the others from his world into flesh-eating maniacs. His story is sadly shorter than he is, but still a great time while it lasts. So without further ado, grab a taco, sit back, relax, and enjoy the full gory story of Zombie Ant-Man. Who is he? Zombie Ant-Man, like most of the heroes and villains from his world, came into contact with a deadly alien disease that turned them into deranged but still self-aware undead cannibals. He made his first appearance in the pages of Ultimate Fantastic Four number 23 back in 2005. He comes from Earth 2149, but his origins pre-infection were very similar to the Scott Lang we all know and love from the prime Marvel Earth 616. This all changed though one deadly day when a zombie version of the superhero called the Sentry came to this world and started infecting Colonel America and the other Avengers with the otherworldly disease. Immediately upon making contact with the sickened Sentry, the heroes too immediately turned into ravenous cannibals where they began completely devouring every human in sight. With things quickly getting out of hand, Nick Fury gathered the likes of Scott Lang's Ant-Man and the other non-infected humans at the time to mount an assault on the undead to save who was left. Scott and the others were sent to combat the hordes and rescue survivors, while geniuses such as Reed Richards and Tony Stark were tasked with finding a cure. Honestly, it's not fair Scott had to go out and fight. I'm sure his immense drumming skills would have came quite in handy in keeping morale high. Hard as the heroes fought though, they were no match for the growing horde's might and the likes of Ant-Man was infected and added to the undead army. We later see the zombie Scott on what looks to be a zombie ant leading a gang of fellow super zombies after a still human Magneto and a dimensionally displaced Ultimate Reed Richards who tried to escape this hellish world. Poor Scott could not get his happy meal though as he was temporarily blinded by Ultimate Susan Storm, who, with the aid of the other Ultimate Fantastic Four members, rescued Reed and got back to their world while Magneto destroyed the portal linking their dimensions, locking Ant-Man and the others in Earth 2149 to starve. Later on, the hungry, depressed zombie lads would come across the Silver Surfer, who had arrived to the planet to announce the arrival of Galactus, who is on his way to gobble up the globe. Salivating at the sight of this living Three Musketeers bar, a lucky group of zombies managed to defeat and eat the surfer, where they got his powers and then used them to roast and eat poor Ant-Man and the other zombies present. And that is the full gory story of Zombie Ant-Man. While he was not nearly as important as some of the other heroes we have covered, it was still cool to see the shrinking superhero in this gruesome story. I feel someone like Ant-Man could have been great as a survivor, using his abilities to shrink and evade zombie bites. Heck, they could have even gotten more creative with things and had him use something like Pym Particles to shrink the survivors down and create a hidden settlement of shrunken citizens where the zombies could not find them. You know, kind of like the time Spongebob shrunk Bikini Bottom. Except with, uh, more gore, of course. Ant-Man's head did survive at the end of the What If Zombies episode of Marvel's What If, so I wonder if we'll see him return in some form in the upcoming Marvel Zombies TV show. Only time will tell. More than anything, I want to hear what you think. Did you know this about Zombie Ant-Man? Was there something I missed? What other characters should we cover? Sound off in the comments. Also be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed today's content, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the music in this video, it was all made by my boy Agnes. You can check out his Spotify in the link below. You can also check out our Discord chat also in the link below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember you are awesome and loved. God bless, and I will see you 
in the next one.